What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video here on Charleston Car Videos with your boy Chad. We're going to be taking a look at right there behind us the 2006 BMW 550. Oh wow. I hope y'all are excited because this is uh, this is pretty exciting to me. <laughs> I've never filmed a 550 5 Series BMW before, nor have I ever driven one. So, with that being said, let's hit the streets. Alright everybody, so here is our 2006 BMW 550. You know, I'm really liking the white on here. I really do, man. I really do. Another guy pulled in today looking at it, and he had a 530i. Same body style and all, but his was in black. And, uh, you know, I get it. You know, some people like black, some people like silver, and some people like white. And uh, when he pulled it up right here, right next to this one, I should have got a picture of him, but... I really, to me, I said, I really like the white a lot better than the black. And that was just my preference. It really kind of makes the car, first off, look a lot bigger. It is a pretty decent sized car, though. But it makes it look bigger. It looks cleaner when it's white. It looks more expensive in white. It just makes it look better all around. Again, that's my opinion, though, right? And, you know, opinions are like asses, right? Everybody's got one. But anyways, let's take a look, right? Here's the key. One thing I've noticed on BMW keys, as you can see on this one here, my camera is kind of more on focus on the car, so let me fix that real quick, is um, let's take a look. You see the key there, man? It always, uh, BMW keys always seem to get worn out, and the colors are gone, and the logo is gone, and all of that. But, hey... Maybe it still works. Let's hit the lock button and see if the lights do their little... Well, I guess... Well, I guess nothing works on the key right now. That's kind of interesting. So that's one thing we just found out. The key is not locking or unlocking the car or making any lights do any blinking action. Okay. Well, there you go. Let's keep looking at it though, right? Who cares so much about the key? It's about the car. And I don't know the price on the car yet, but I will find out here shortly before the video ends. The body's in great shape. As I always tell y'all, if I see any dent stings or scratches, I'll point them out. White's one of those colors you really got to pay a lot of attention to. And uh, unfortunately, the sun's starting to go down right now, so it's not too bright out here. But there's your alloy wheels. Um, I love how it just sits right on top of the tires. I've been more, I'm one of those guys that uh, usually lowers my vehicles, or at least I used to. And um, so I love how it sits low. Um, it does have plenty of tread on those BF Goodrich tires, so you got tons of tread. Let's keep on looking. There's your side marker light. Again, it's an 06. You know, there is some condensation that's hitting up on the windshield right now, so when I get in and crank up, I'm going to get the heat going. The detail guy that's walking right through the doors right there right now, he loves to shampoo the carpets in the cars, and when he shampoos the carpets in the cars, it causes, uh, it causes that condensation to happen and every time it hits the window and people come up here and they're like oh man a flood car something wrong with the car the windows got left down I'm like no we clean the car and it's condensation coming up you just got to be straight up with people but either way I'm loving the body on it man it's so pretty man it really is right look how clean that 5 series is it just it's got that look of classiness right um also i love the tail lights on the five series this is one of my favorite body styles just love that red and the silver chrome it looks so mm, it looks good don't it and then it's a 550i with the v8 you got the tips down here nice and clean let's go ahead and pop the trunk for a moment hit the button god have mercy that thing flew up like a damn jackrabbit popping out of a jack-in-the-box but there's your carpets looking pretty good on those tan cloth mats and you got a ton of space in the back of here i love how you got a light up top so you can see your luggage in here that's luxury folks got a little storage down on there got a little net over here let's see if we got a spare tire under there oh yeah we got it baby oh yeah tires in good shape got your first aid let's see if it's got it in there Ugh. Okay, I'm not going to all that level right now, but no backup camera. This is too old school for that. You know, we're almost getting like vintage on this car here, but I'm liking the tinted windows. Looking sweet. Now, here's where the thing... here Here's... Man, my voice is getting all screwed up. It's getting cold outside, but here's where things start getting to be kind of... Hmm, makes you go, huh. 
We got power windows, auto up features on all four windows, power mirrors, power door locks, power shade going on in the back, little storage compartments, these nice looking chrome looking silver handles, and get your leather here and a nice stitch going there. That tan's definitely hard to keep clean. Then you got your leather seats in here. It smells pretty good on the inside, not too bad. Um, sunroof up top, you got that. Of course, it's got its varicose veins starting to happen on the seats. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all know what I'm saying. Guys and gals get varicose veins. Well, cars get them too. Power seat, does it still work? Of course it does. Memory seats, lots of different directions and things that it does. I think this might even kind of pop out. We'll check that out in a moment. Let's go ahead and get inside this car and see how she sounds when we crank her up. Put our foot on the brake. We got some lighting down here. Press the button. She's alive. You can also take the key and insert it into that spot there and crank it that way as well. Or just keep it in your pocket or purse and hit the button and crank up. The screen in here, there you go. It's not that super wide screen that we see on the uh, some BMWs. Let's go ahead and get the condensation off the window, guys. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I got my defrosters on right now and they're starting to do a pretty decent job of getting the windows cleaned up, as in defrosting them. It's not frost though, it's almost, it's just condensation. Fog, whatever you wanna call it, but they're gonna be clear in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get our seat belt on in here. One thing I want to talk about tonight is the mileage on the car with you. And uh, just to get it out of the way, it has 154,550 miles on an 06. Really isn't too bad, okay? Just being straight up with you there, folks. You know, if it had 220,000 miles, I'd be saying, Ugh, that's a lot of miles. But 554, not too bad. It is a Beamer. It's going to cost some money to get worked on in the shop. The other guy that was here today, I said, buddy, how much is an oil change on your BMW, man? Is it like $120? He said, nah, man. He's like 60 bucks. Synthetic or regular oil? He said synthetic. I didn't really believe him, though. I mean, because I know synthetic is expensive. But maybe so. If you go to Jiffy Lube, I'd take it right to the Beamer store if I owned a BMW. But hey, maybe not. You know, hey, we're on a price budget here. But here's the interior layout. It's pretty clean on, on the inside of this car. One thing I love to see is that the dash is actually in good shape. The 645 over there, the black one sitting like right there, the dash on the 645 is all cracked up. You know, it's got 109,000 miles, which isn't bad for 8,500. 645, 2004. This is an 06 5 Series with a 150 on the mileage. So you can only imagine this car's got to be under $8,000, I would assume. Okay, but anyways, the dash is in good shape on this one. Seats are in good shape. Com got your not convertible, but got your uh, sunroof. Got your lights up here. They're over here as well in the vanity mirrors. You got old crap handles. All right, enough of the talking, man. Let's hit the streets. I think by the time we get back, we'll be end up doing a night review. So we're gonna have a nice video for y'all tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and cut our air off because the AC works, the heat works. Let's just go ahead and cut the air off. Here's our iDrive system. Let's hit menu. I'm trying to see where is the navigation at. Right now, I don't think we have nav in this car, guys. So I'll just put it on entertainment and just leave it alone. So again, this is my first time driving a 550i. Man, I never knew coming to work here at the used car store was going to offer such great video content with old school, high-end cars. I love it. I hope y'all do too. I really feel like we need more people watching the videos though, man. I wish more people could come along on these journeys with us. Give it some gas. It's very quiet in here too. Gosh, that feels good. I'm hearing a little bit of wind noise off the back of the car back there, but it's riding nice. I'm liking the way this feels. Go ahead and pull her in.
The steering feels good too, man. It just whips around the corners, man. It feels sleek in here. I'm like raw dogging it, man, just coming in. I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty cool dude driving a BMW 550i. It almost, I, I, I kind of understand what some of y'all BMW drivers are going through now. I really do. You, you kind of feel like you're above the Chevy Impala driver over there, the truck driver, the whoever driver. You're, you're kind of like on a whole nother level driving a BMW. So, I don't know if I like that or not though, man. I mean, I definitely want to feel status, of course, and I think that's what BMW provides, but I don't know. It's working on me, guys. Let's get out and take a look at the motor. All right, guys, we're popping our engine. Let's see what we got going on under here, right? So a V8, of course. It's got to be, right? I mean... I know it is. The what the hood is kind of lightweight, guys. Doesn't have a lot of weight to it. Shocks are working good on the hood, so you don't have to stress out about that too much. Let's take a little in-depth look under here. You have your intake here strut bar there then that big old V8 with the BMW logos pretty solid looking car up under the hood 750 I know this sounds crazy guys, but I ain't got a clue of what liters in here. I could take a guess it's a 5.5 liter, but I ain't never heard of no 5.5 liter before. Test screws. Wow, it's not telling me. Hold on. You sometimes look right here. High performance synthetic oil is supposed to be in this car. Anyways. I definitely don't know what size leader. I know it's a V8, but when we get back to the store, I'll find out which size leader it is, because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna find out. And I hope you can come along with me. Before we hit back in the car and spin on out of here, let's take a look at the lights. So we definitely probably have some Xenon headlamps up front, which HIDs were definitely uh, in motion being sold and put on pretty much all your high-end cars back in this time frame. You have your halogens on the bottom down there, and then it does have angel eyes, but I want to show you something real quick with this. You have your angel eyes that are working over here, right? Right there, right there, okay? But then we get over to this side, and obviously we got, we got a problem. Our angel eyes aren't lighting up on the passenger side. This got sensors, you got your kidney grill, Definitely one of those cars that gets some looks even at the gas station. And then taillights, we don't have any LED stuff going on back here. This is just old school in it with some halogen bulbs in there. Okay, and also that just kind of off color white under here for your tags. There you go, let's take a look at this. Well, that stinks. Oh. <laughs> that stinks really bad. Okay, I don't know um, what's going on with that, but... It, oh, man, I gotta take a break for a second. I'm starting to... Whew, man, I shouldn't have breathed in that, that fumes back there. That, um... It's kind of a whitish color. Not sure what was going on there, but it's kind of, of a white color in the back of there. Let's take a look at our back seats real quick and see what we got going on back here. It looks like this is a nice little luxury feature. You got your little window visors in the back. Keep the kids, kind of keep the sun out of their face. It's also, uh, you know, for some of the higher end luxury people of the world to get chauffeured, can kind of hide behind the shade there. They don't want people seeing them in the car. You got your maps and tablet holders there. Back seats in really nice shape though. Very clean. You got an ashtray right there, you know, to put that cigar button there. 
component sets. This is going to be kind of interesting. We'll see what's going on there. Um, I'm assuming that's a center armrest, but yeah, center armrest with a cup rest. Not bad. BMW is hooking it up. You even got some storage in there, man. Cool. Put your wallet in there, pens, pencils, whatever. Um, doesn't really look like the most comfortable thing, though, to be resting your arm on. Knowing me, I'd bring a pillow if I was going to Disney World, and I'd sit my pillow right here, and I could freaking rest my arm right there just fine, and have plenty of spots for a big old supersized cup. But other than that, the layout looks really clean inside the car. I'm loving the interior, and I'm liking that wood trim up there. It looks pretty sexy and sweet, you know? All right, guys, let's hit the streets and head on back to the store. I'm going to roll the windows down so y'all can get a good listen to the engine. All right, everybody, this is how my hair looks after wearing a hat for eight hours. Yeah, it's kind of messy, but um, let's roll the windows down. Doesn't look like there's tint on the windows, but there's tint on them. 10 over there. I know it's getting dark, but I feel cool in my sunglasses at night. Yeah, there's a song about that if some of y'all knew. And uh, we definitely got some white smoke going on. I don't know if y'all can see that out there, but there is some smoking. Look behind in the mirror. That's a lot of smoke. There's the Escalade, guys. But I feel bad for the lady back there, so let's just get on out of here. Ooh. All right, everybody, we definitely, um, we definitely got some white smoke coming out the back. I'm going to figure out what that's going on. I got a feeling that an O-ring or, or uh, there's something going on to make it smoke like that. Um, when the car came in last night off the 18-wheeler uh, truck, I noticed it was smoking. And I said something to the guy that owns the dealership. He's a huge BMW fanatic. And basically, he had told me, he said, look, Chad, he's like, he said, it's an easy fix. He's like, we're gonna get it fixed. He's like, don't stress. He's like, it's nothing major. It's not a blown head gasket. It's, just, it's nothing major. He's like, I'm gonna get it fixed. So, uh, I hope you get it fixed, brother. I got my fingers crossed for you, <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah. You know, that kind of stuff can be a little scary when you're looking at Beamers. They're expensive cars, expensive maintenance. From what I've been told, what a little birdie told me, uh, a few years ago. All right, let's see how she rides and sounds. Well, brakes feel good. It's smooth. It doesn't. This transmission feels great. Um, I think we got a pretty decent car here. Let's go inside and figure out what the money's going to be. Stay with us. What's up, everybody? Oh, I forgot to tell you. It's the end of the night. I've almost forgot to give you this clip here, but the BMW 550 is going to be on sale for 4,500 bucks. What? What a deal. Hey, just be thankful. We're hooking you up. 4,500 bucks for a 550. Very nice deal. All right, let me know if y'all are interested. Peace.